Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the buffed up version of Sandman. At 6 star rank 5, this man is not ascended, um, and we don't have suicide masteries or boosters on, and the way that his damage scaling works now, he actually benefits from his current attack instead of base attack. So one of the reasons like he was so kind of like mediocre on the damage output before, or underwhelming, is that his big burst period didn't scale up with any sort of attack modifier that he had, and now it does. So what we're going to do is let's throw off double medium here. This is going to get us to about 18 stacks after this triple two. And then we just want to do a couple of hits and then try and start getting in some heavy attacks. Okay, cool. We can actually just like charge the heavy here. Okay, this should trap him and then I can get like another heavy in and just one final one more. And you see like the burst that's going on with Soldier. And we kind of haven't even like finished the ramp up yet. So if you're going for like another combo. And let's just chuck in this. I think we'll bring in the striker actually. Let's go for like three hits here. Don't be too greedy with this. I could have been a little bit quicker on the heavy counter there, but yeah, if we just like slam down heavy attacks, look at that red damage just ramping up now. And then we have a couple of options of what we do here. I think like it's probably best just to go in and like find combo. But if you instantly want to ramp at any point and they just start chaining special three, uh, sorry, heavy attacks out of it, you can also just special three. So if we do five combo here, and then I think we can just start throwing heavy attacks. And then the match is done. And against Winter Soldier, we did have class disadvantage, so with the way he scales now, the attack was being reduced a fair bit. But even then, like Sandman, in terms of like raw damage output, still he's not that champion. He's all about like utility. Because he's got triple immune D, you've got bleed, poison, and shock. You've got a massive, massive hero reverse off the special one, which you can just keep on stacking up and up. You've got like 10 petrifies. Just do that every time. Um, and you also have a very powerful decelerate debuff that stacks up to 30 on a single special two. So Sandman is like a bit of like a utility MVP man. There's so much going on there. And I think this update definitely makes his damage a lot more viable and interesting for a lot of things. For this matchup again, we're not gonna have um, a class disadvantage this time. So again, the damage should be a good chunk higher here. Like a heavy attack. I think I can get another heavy in quick. So we're ramping up like these orange passives. We want to get them like as close to eight as possible, but we'll ramp them up anyway during the first like burst phase. Okay, so one hit, heavy attack. We go straight into it because I'm going to be indestructible plus unstoppable. Again, when they're trapped, they can't really do anything, so. Pretty good time. I think I'll just go for this. Then I can like double, get a couple of hits in, and then probably chain in. Heavy, hopefully just gonna throw it. Cool. Dude, it's mega satisfying. Like when you got somebody in a sand trap and you just like wallop in like these massive heavy attacks. We'll go for another special two. I think, like, particularly for these health balls here, <laughs> like, in order to get them down in two cycles, it's like, we need the Ascended Sandman, or we need some sort of booster there. I think, like, one cycle is about, like, 200,000 or something. It's a, l a little bit more than that. But it's not bad. Like, it's not bad levels of damage output, but at the same time, like, the damage output is an absolute absurd. But then again, he is such a high utility champion that, you know, they didn't want to give him, like, all of the damage source as well. So I can understand that, but I kind of wish the first uh, set of changes, which made him, like, even quicker to ramp up, it was like he, all his uh, orange things were condensed into five heavies instead of eight. I'm just trying to catch uh, those parries. 
Okay, I think we have full combo here. Decelerate. I think it's as long as we got more than like 13 of those. Maybe it's more like 14 or something. Just can't do anything. Be unstoppable at least. Yeah, you see he like fires off a special two there but doesn't do anything. At this point, because we're all ramped up the orange ones, this is kind of where the rotation just gets a bit more chill, because you don't need to worry about, like, getting those freaking heavy attacks, and it is literally just get out from charges. Like, 10 hits, special 2, spam heavy. And that, that's where this man really starts to cook a little bit more. You can also, like, trigger the first part of your was it unstable from the special two as well but I just I like just triggering it normally because then you get like all of the heavy attacks so you can get kind of like the max uh, power gain value out of it it just kind of makes the leap a little a little bit more chill again I've only played Sandman like a little bit for testing I'm not like the biggest Sandman expert so if anybody does have some really good tips please do let me know And yeah, let me know if there's anything you guys have been using uh, Saman for, even before the buff. Because I know, like, Cast Shift stuff, and you've got, like, Bleed and um, Shock, which is uh, quite literally the background meta at the moment. It's, uh, it's quite valuable for that. Okay, this will take me to 19 stacks of Resistor. And then this Rhino has some pretty beefy physical resistance. He's not going to take as much damage. You can see it's like 6k, 14k, 22k. I probably should have just like done that 5 combo special too. Nah, it don't matter too much though. Alright, let's jump in with this. And then I think this should be enough. If we're going down to Assassin's Range, right, we should be getting a little bit harder. I'm going to go straight into Heavy because he's still got a special 1. He's like immune to basic attacks, but if the opponent has a special, that can still catch you off guard. There we go. Nice takedown of Rhino in the end there. It's still a 134, a little bit quicker than Winter Soldier in comparison. So yeah, we just kind of got in a good loop there and just started uh, absolutely cooking, which was a great time. So yeah, Sandman, if you get the right lineup and get used to playing him, and again, the more matches I'm doing today, the more I'm just kind of coming back to me a bit. Just getting into a good rhythm. I think I might be able to get another heavy here. Oh no, no, that was too ambitious. Way too ambitious, dude. Okay, mistakes were made. I think, again, worst case scenario, if stuff um, does start messing up, you can just like kind of charge in a bit. So we do one, two hits there. Straight into heavy attack training. And then you can also see, especially when you're trying to ramp up again, getting every single one of the heavy attacks that you can. Off the um, what is it? The unstable phase just seems super valuable. You actually, you, again, you don't even need to necessarily start by um, using heavy attacks. It just makes that first uh, first phase a little bit harder. Like if you just want to play normally, you certainly could do. Oh, special two. Yeah, I can try actually in the next matchup playing a slightly different way and not like starting with heavy attacks. And then kind of going for the special 3 instead, because the special 3 is a bit interesting. I actually missed the value of one heavy attack here. Too, too many block hits. Doesn't matter, she's dead anyway. Yeah, how many. How long was that on the kill time? 139. You know, I messed up a little bit there, so despite us taking a bit more damage, it was a little bit slower. But it's really safe to throw the, the heavy attacks just because you do have that indestructible and unstoppable 
is a stun node that anything can get. So this match, I'm just going to try and play a little bit differently here. And I'm just going to like do normal combos. So I'm just kind of bearing it up just to show that you can play a slightly different way if you'd like to. But here, again, you can see the burst is like not even really that worth it. Like, because we even got the debuffs from uh, Decelerate. So yeah, we weren't really cooking there. But then the special three, we get some debuffs from here. Okay, right. Yeah, I think like starting with the special two is is probably the way to go. Actually, we should be able to get quite a nice combo here, right? If we go for uh, these five, I just messes up my rhythm a little bit. Okay, so we're going for. Uh, Two more heavy attacks after this. Three and then four. Just because we don't have the debuffs to scale up his um, heavy burst damage. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really suggest this rotation. Let's go again. Okay, we should actually be hitting quite hard on these. Yeah, there we go. 27k, 48k, massive one there. 63k. Special. The special three does have its uh, hurt. But it's just like if you don't have the special two so good because it puts a lot of, a lot of decelerates on and they just last for ages so it seems kind of like the ideal way to play based on my limited experience of the character that was a very cheeky heavy counter there and if you can just get more heavy attacks while ramping up. I think we do full five combo, straight into special two. I think this puts us at 18 stacks here. Okay, nice. We got all 20 debuffs we need on the opponent just to maximize the damage output. Then we go for another 5 combo. Again, if you just look at like the pure quantity of like decelerate stats, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Okay, let's see if we can get like a. Oh, was that? Like, not off a basic attack yet, I think. Like, punishing the end of it, so it didn't, like, ruin in place for the, uh, the big round. Or the big burst, should I say. Alright, let's shut that off. go nice and easy man nice and easy i felt like i was a bit slower on that one i don't know if it was just like yeah time ends or whatever because you can kind of control what was it the movement and pace of a match a little bit once you get in like the heavy attacks aside from when you're detonating out super often more, but you still want like a few you know, anyway just to get all the buff things or not the buffs but the heavy proficiency that's it the only passives Oh, we need to hope against Scarlet Witch, she doesn't power drain us. Oh, we'll go for this. We are immune to the poison on this match, though, which is quite good. Oh, dude, we got class advantage here, man. Oh, okay. Sandman is cooking, dude. We got the, uh, what was it, the Fury there as well. So that just came in really, really nicely. 
I don't know if it's better actually here to just like relic on and then strike a root. It's a way of doing it. I think this might get her down. Oh, really close, dude. So close. <laughs> yeah, that was mega, mega close. 121. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Yeah, again, some alright times here, but again, he does require like that level of expertise and a little bit of uh, aggressive gameplay as well. Actually, on Wolverine, what I'm going to do here is I just I'm purely going to showcase the regenerate reversal. So let's just max. I'm just going to maximize just hit into the opponent as much as possible, and I want to get like close to a special two before tripping this off. Okay, so this is just the petrify. Look at that already, man. Absolutely cooking. Just for like a small one, right? And we reached unstable. You know, this man would be absolutely clapped if we were going in. But like, look at that regen reversal. Like, I'm not even doing the big burst damage. Like, just look at that. It's just effortless. Like, he just shuts it down and punishes it so hard. And there is no more regen now. So yeah, his regen reversal is just nuts, bro. Absolutely nuts. And like, it didn't matter like the the rank or level of Sandman for that. Even like a, a two star one could do that exact same uh, <laughs> regen reversal, if not a little bit quicker. If Wolverine got some procs as well. So yeah, his regen reversal is crazy, man. Just crazy. So yeah, Sandman. I feel like his damage has definitely taken like a, a nice step up. Um, Again, the immunities are really nice on this champion, but by far the most overpowered thing by a really, really significant margin is just like how powerful that Petrify is on the special one, dude. It's just absolutely crazy. You get 10 stacks of that, you combo in it with all the other debuffs, you got the Despair Mastery as well. It's just mad that you can get like that much of a strong Petrify across like so many different debuffs. And then just keep on stacking debuffs on top of that. That's like the absolute mental thing about Sandman. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy a um, uh, look today at the buffed up version of Sandman, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Take care. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.